Dear students, welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, today we are reading addition and subtraction of fractions. But I have written like fractions. That means uh, you used to know today we are reading how to add or subtract the like fractions only. It means uh, you can say we are reading simplification of like fractions today. But uh, before we start, I must tell you, in our previous class, we read how to reduce a fraction in simplest form. I mean, we read how to write a fraction in lowest term. We read two ideas. One, by finding prime factors and cancelling. The second idea, we read, we read how to reduce a fraction by cancelling numerator and denominator by the same number. So if you have understood how to reduce a fraction in this form, as I have already told you, while simplifying fractions that may be related to addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, no problem, after simplifying we must write the answer in simplest form. So in our previous class we read that item. So today we are in simplification of like fractions. But you know very well my dear students about like fractions you might have read in your previous classes. At least you know very well about like fractions. If you have, if you don't know, let us do one fraction 2 upon 3. We say 2 numerator, 3 denominator. Then one more, 5 upon 3. In the second fraction, we have 5 numerator, 3 denominator. This numerator, 3 denominator. But if you check these two fractions, you can see clearly 3 is denominator of first fraction, 3 is denominator of second fraction. Because these two fractions have equal denominators. E, Q, U, A are equal denominators. Denominators. Okay, these two fractions have equal denominators. So you can do this very simple idea. So you just check the denominators. Check the denominators only. If the denominators are same, they are like fractions. If the denominators are different, they are unlike fractions. Then you can give some more examples. 2 upon 3, 1 upon 3, 5 upon 3, 6 upon 3. I have four fractions. We have the denominators of all fractions are same. So these are also like fractions. And you can raise some question. Then what are all like fractions? If the denominators are same, they are like fractions. If the denominators are different, if the denominators are different, they are unlike fractions. And you can just share fractions having equal denominators, they are like fractions. Fractions having unequal denominators 1 by 2, 7 by 8, okay, 4 upon 7, these are unlike. Because in these three fractions, the denominators are different. 2 and 7, the denominators they are different. So these three are unlike fractions. But today's topic we are going how to simplify like fractions because if the fractions are like we feel very easy to simplify but if the fractions are like we can even a subtract easily we can simplify the like fractions easily but if the fractions are unlike we do follow another idea so how to make online fractions like you read already in your previous class also but today we are a very simple item how to simplify the like fractions. Okay, let us start from the first problem. Okay, we have 3 by 4 plus 1 upon 4. Now we have found most of the stress feel difficult while simplifying fractions. But don't take attention to the concept of fraction. I mean concept of simplification of fraction. I know, you know very well, we use 
the most in most of the topics. So you must know how to simplify fractions. So while there are only two fractions, three fractions, fractions, four fractions, there will be the um, minus sign. While adding, while subtracting, we do follow the same idea. Just check the denominators. What's the denominator of our here? In the first fraction, four. In the second fraction, also four. Are the denominators same? Yes. Three upon two, four denominator. One upon four, four denominator. But the denominators are same. But today, we are ready to have to simplify like facts only. For some of them, a different denominator. We shall talk in our next class. If the denominators are different, we do make same denominator and we do, we do simplify. We have another idea also. But today, are the numbers the same? Yes. It means if the denominators are same, they are right. Like fractions can be added. Okay, if the denominators are the same, go for We can just write here yeah, 3 by 4, 1 by 4. We have same denominators, both denominators are 4. So while adding, just write the denominator 4. Then what's the numerator over here? 3. Write here 3. Then what is the sign over here? Plus. What is the second denominator? 1. If the denominator are same, just write single denominator. Then after, do simplify numerators. Now this, go by this way, if the denominators are same. Okay, four goes by a single four, just by three here, plus here, one here. If you have a minus sign also, do that minus sign and do follow the same idea. Then after this, we have single denominator four, it can be simplified, copy it same, three plus one, four. And after four by four, after adding, if we have minus one, three minus one, like two by four. But it is addition 3 plus 1, 4 by 4. After this, I, we have given already in our previous class, we must write the answer in simplest form when we are simplifying the problem related to fraction. So 4 by 4, can it be 4 and 4, 4 and 4. And it's 1 upon 4, that is 1. If you can also write 1 and 4, we have no problem. It is actually 1 by 1, that is 1. Because if, the, if we don't have, if we have denominator 1, if we do not write denominator 1 also no problem because 4 by 1, actually 4 should be divided by 1, that is 4. So we solve both this, we solve very similar problem. <coughs> Let's check the next one. If you check question number 2, you can have to follow similar idea. If you check question number 3, only in the case of minus sign, you can follow the similar idea. For them also you can do by the similar idea. But if you have three fractions, four fractions, five fractions, no problem. Okay, this you can do solve it easily. Okay. Let us see question number seven on time. Eight upon three minus five upon three. Minus 1 upon 3. Check the denominators. Are the denominators same? Yes. So if it yes, write single denominator. Just write the numerators over here. 8. What is the sign over here? Minus. What's the second denominator? 5. Then minus. Then 1. Then I have to do simplify the numerator. In the numerator, 3 share. 8 minus 5 gets 3. 8 minus 5, 3. This minus sign over here, 1. 3 minus 1, 2. By 3. And if we read it is in simplest form, we can't reduce it. So this is the answer. So up to one answer is very, very simple. I want to do one part of this part having whole number. Okay, let us say question number okay, okay, 10. We have this 1 whole 1 by 4. Minus 0, when you are how to read out this type of fraction, it's mixed fraction 1 whole 1 upon 4. Plus 2 whole 1 upon 4. Plus 3 by 4. So it's a mixed fraction. Second also mixed fraction. Third, Proper fraction. 
to change the next fraction into improper first. We know you know that 4 1 for 4 plus 1 5. What's the video we are for? Write it down side. Then 4 1 for 4 plus 1 5. So the, how do you mix fraction into improper fraction? You read already in your previous class. So 4 1 for 4 plus 1 5. By denominator 4 plus. Similarly, if the denominator 4 is right, then change it into improper. How? 4 to the 8 plus 1 9. I read 4 to the 8 plus 1 9. Open 4 plus. Third denominator, copy it same. Then after this, check the denominators. 4, 4, 4. Are the denominators same? Yes. So write single denominator. Then simplify the numerator. Write the numerator upside. 5 plus numerator plus second numerator 9 plus third numerator 3. Then after this, simplify in the numerator. Downside will have 4. So 9 plus 5. 5 plus 9, 14. 14 plus 3, 17. You can have 3 plus 9, 12, 12 plus 5, 17. All are positive, all simulated. 17. Then after this, it's a fraction. So we can't write this much answer, should be changed into mixed number. So when 17 by 4, we have the idea to change it into mixed number, just divide numerator by denominator. 4. 4 for the 16. Then 7 minus 6, 1. Here is the whole one portion. 4 remainder 1. Then how do you have the answer? Question would have over here. 4. Then we have remainder in the numerator. Divisor in the denominator. It can be said also. 4 for the 16 plus 1, 17 upon 4. This is the answer. So today, we read how to simplify like fractions. If the fractions are like, it's very too easy to simplify. We just check the denominators. There may be case of proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction, no problem. Just check the denominator. If the denominators are same, we can add or subtract easily. Well, while simplifying like fractions, we just write the single new denominator, then we simplify the numerator directly. After that, we write the answer in simplest form. So, my dear students, today we read how to simplify like fractions. In our next class, we shall talk how to simplify unlike fractions. Then, I hope you will. Try to do some problems. You can find some problems in your textbook also. By looking at this video, I hope you will do try some questions. In next class, we shall discuss simplification of online fractions. This much for today. Uh, my dear students, please like and subscribe. Great to you. Thank you.